means to praise him. Father, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be glorified. You are the El Shaddai. You are the beginning and the end. Take some time to praise him. I know that this is a very difficult time. But just raise up your voice. And remember who he has been to you. Raise up your voice. And remember who he has been to you. If he has delivered you, call him deliverer. If he has healed you, call him Jehovah Rapha. If he has visited you, call him Jehovah Yahweh. The Lord who is he who is. Let's just take this time to praise and worship him while the family takes their seats. Father, we praise you for such a time as this. We glorify you and worship you. You can stand, you can sit if you want to sit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, one more time, I present myself as a vessel willing to be used of you. I pray that if there be in me anything that is more of me than is of you, that I will decrease right now, even as you increase. Father, I pray that every sense in this place will be subject to the authority of the Spirit of God. Lord, I pray that the meditations of our hearts and the words of our mouth today will come into your presence as accepted. We thank you, Jesus, for such an opportunity. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying. Amen and amen. I know that there are so many people wondering what is happening and why I should be the main preacher today. And many will wonder at the type of sermon I have chosen to preach in such a time as this. Many years ago, Gideon, Gideon and his siblings made their way to me. This was sometime after the demise of their mother. The beautiful Pastor Prosi. They asked me to they asked me to be their mother. And I took them into my house. And I loved them. And they have been my children. I want to thank Apostle Molinde so much. I thanked him on Angel's wedding for allowing to share these beautiful children with me. Our walk with Angel, ne Angel Abra, Abra Nam, Nam, and Gideon, ne Gideon has been a walk of faith. I don't know how they found their way to my door. But the Bible says deep calleth unto deep. And we are, not, we are not fleshy beings. We are spiritual beings in human bodies. I believe that because they had had an introduction to the power of God, the Holy Spirit, they asked to be mothered at a time when nobody would have asked 
Mchis, to, be, to be mothered in the Kayanja household. But it was the Holy Spirit. As I sat in my house praying, the spirit in me that was flowing deep was flowing in their spirits as well. And there was an attraction in the spiritual realm. Before I became close to, past, to Apostle Molinde, I was close to those children. A, a, a relationship born of the Spirit of God. From the time they came into my household, and by my household, I don't mean they were sleeping in my house, but I mean they were members of my family. We have sought the solution to every part of their life on our knees our language my language as a mother has been fasting has been praying and everything that they ever brought my way Education, choice of marriage partners. Okusoma, okulonda, gona, fumbira, gona, wasa. I had already said, let's go on our knees. I had already said, let's fast. I was so pleased when Gideon sent me a picture of faith. Gideon, we are the age financial faith. And there's a reason why I'm giving this background because it's to introduce the message I'm going to preach. He said, Mommy, I, saw, I looked at the picture and I saw one of the most beautiful girls I had ever seen. And despite her beauty, in the lines below the picture, he said, Mommy, take some time to pray and fast about this. And I said, Gideon, I'm, I'm already at peace. She was gorgeous. But because the, our language and the foundation, but our foundation was a foundation of faith. We prayed. When Nam, um, who is abroad now, found, uh, you know, got into a relationship, Gideon told me to pray and believe God. When Angel, Angel got into her relationship, relationship, Gideon alerted me before Angel had gathered any guts to come to me. Gideon, yantegeza kumangunga, Angel tana to kirida. And again, it was the spiritual antenna. Go, get on your knees and pray. Today, I have discovered that I cannot speak another language to my children. I have lived with them speaking a faith language. I have lived with them believing God. I rejoiced when they reached great heights. But I continued to pray. And when we got the news of Gideon's death, like any mother, I was devastated. But yesterday, I talked to Faith. I talked to her throughout the night. And she was challenging me with the same language I have taught them. I had actually called Angel earlier on to, to, to ask about the preparations because I didn't want to bother Apostle. But Faith told me faith that her faith was like her name. 
It was still standing strong. There was no way I could reverse my tongue. When the children I have raised proclaiming faith and declaring faith are now challenging me at the same. I decided to wipe my tears and I began to pray. And in the morning, Faith called me. Faith and she said, Mom, Mom, I want you to preach. But I want the atmosphere to change while you preach. She wanted me to bestow the same faith and belief that has led us all this time when I was with these children. She wanted, it to, she wanted me to declare this because she knew that it was not too late. Today, I stand as a mother and I want you to understand me that I am doing this as a mother. As a mother who has brought up her children believing God and declaring his mercies and goodness. Today, I'm standing with my daughter Faith because I know that this is what God would have, Gideon would have wanted me to do. When I talk to Faith, I gathered um, enough strength to call um, Reverend Semambo. And I, I asked that faith and you know all of us be given more time. And I thank God that this has happened. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are spiritual beings, like I said. The Bible says we are made in the image and likeness of our God. And because God does not have a body, he is a spiritual man. We too are spiritual but contained in physical bodies. And when someone sleeps in the Lord, it is their fleshly man that weakens. But the spirit man arises in strength. He arises in power. He arises in honor. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says, Isaiah anasa gamba they that wait upon the Lord, he will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings as eagles. As eagles. <laughs> it is, a human being cannot mount, but it is the spiritual man that mounts. The fleshly man that we are cannot have bear wings, but it is the spiritual man that will bear wings. Gideon has waited on the Lord. We don't believe that his spirit man is dead. We believe that his spirit man is mounting up with wings as eagles. Is running and not fainting. He's walking and not growing weary. Even as we see 
Eranga. A flesh so weak. Nga wetulaba omubiri nga munafunyo. A flesh so mobile. Nga omu, omubiri gumari So mama. immobile. Nga tegucha ina chegukola. We know that the spirit man. Na yetu mainti omuto omoyo. Has been rewarded and he's soaring with God. Nga ye abade awere doa magobangera atumbira ne katonda. However. Na yate. We do not cry or lose hope like the unbelievers. My message today for the sake of my daughter, for the sake of my children is to stir up your faith. The Bible says we have all been given a measure of faith. And I know that if we are given a measure of faith, there will be faith rising up in different directions. Please stand with me to Exodus chapter 14. Exodus chapter 14 verse 10 As Pharaoh approached the Israelites looked up and there were the Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified and cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, Was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us to the desert to die? What have you done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Didn't we say to you in Egypt, leave us alone, let us serve the Egyptians? It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the desert. Moses answered the people. Do not be afraid. Stand firm. And you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. And you need only to be still. At the wake of deliverance from Egypt. As they are jubilating and celebrating, they look behind them and they realize that the nightmare was not yet over. Pharaoh, who represents death, darkness, captivity, bondage, was following them. The Bible says they raised their eyes and they looked and what they saw was darkness. What they saw was death. They saw a pursuant enemy. But all this happened because they saw. The Bible says, we walk by faith and not by sight. They raised up their eyes and they saw an enemy. Today I am calling upon you to raise up your faith and not your eyes in the midst of pain, in the midst of heart, in the midst of confusion. Let us not despair. We do not walk by what we see. We walk by what we believe and faith does not come by seeing. 
Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And today I have come to deliver that word. Open your ears and hear. Don't open your eyes to see. Raise your faith and not your eyes. They looked back and the enemy was right by their door and some of them began to make negative declarations. They said, why did you bring us out of Egypt to die? Why did you bring us out of Egypt to despair? And Moses Musa. refused to throw Nagana. what he saw into their faces. Mumaso gawe. Hear, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God so Moses Katimusa declares the word to them he says this is not time to see it is time to hear it is time to open your ears it is time to feed the spiritual man not to feed the fleshy man. If we attempt to eat, feed the fleshy man, we will despair. We will break down. But let us open our spiritual ears and hear. Moses said to them, This is the word from God. Stand still. The salvation of God is at hand. And he said, The enemy that you see today, you will see no more. There are two types of ears. There is an, a carnal ear. Because we are spiritual beings in a, in, in a kind of body. But there is also a spiritual ear. The ear that John the Revelator spoke about. He said, let he who has ears. Hear what the Spirit of God is saying to the church. Jesus too repeated the same message. He says, Let he who has ears hear. There is a spiritual ear that we must open right now. Because, if we, the, because the message to the fleshy ears says this is disaster. This is the end. There is no hope. But there is a spiritual ear that I am calling out to. That I am speaking to. An ear that says we will laugh again. We will laugh again. We will rejoice again. Open your spiritual ears. Moses Musa did not concentrate on what was happening. He did not concentrate on what he saw. He gave them the word. Because it is the spiritual ear that needs to be fed. So that our faith which cometh by hearing we will be jump started. And God Mukama spoke to Moses. Nagamba Musa. Then the Lord said to Moses in verse 15. 
Because Moses had, had started cry, was crying out to God. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. Raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry land. I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so that they will not go in after them. They will not go in after them. The Lord is now speaking to Moses. And he says, if you believe in me, there is no reason to stop and start lamenting. If you believe in me, you must take a step and he said to them move on don't be stagnant in one place because faith the bible stipulates that faith without actions is dead and that is the faith that I believe brought these four children of mine to my, to my door. It is this faith that has raised them. It is this faith that has bestowed a blessing upon them. It is this faith that led them to choose the right spouses. It is this faith that led them through their education. How can we say now? How can we say to them? Speak negative. It is the end. No. Jesus Christ yes, Christo. is the same. Yom. Yesterday, today, and forever. Jo, the same Jesus yes, so yo, yo, ye, nini, that has raised you, angel. Aku, 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 angel aku, the same Jesus yes, so moyo. that has preserved and protected daddy. Aku, miera, na, aku, ma, daddy. The same Jesus yes, so yo, mu that has provided for Nam. The same Jesus yes, that has given Abra strength. The same Jesus yes, that brought faith our way is the same Jesus yes, that is still with us. All of a sudden, the children of Israel had forgotten that it was Jesus the blood of the lamb that they had put on their doors that provided for them and brought them out of Egypt alive we cannot forget what Jesus has done we cannot bury our faith we cannot say he's not the same we cannot say that there will not be joy after these tears Today, as God said to Moses to take a step because of the word of God that he had heard in his spiritual ear. I want you to remember too 
that Paul talks about people who died in hope who died in faith I want to give Joseph as an example Joseph waited for the deliverance of, 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 of Israel until he died he was in faith and as he was dying he said to his brothers the salvation of Israel will come and when the salvation comes I want you to carry my bones and take them out of Egypt that is what they call faith faith does not say it's over until it is over the brothers of Joseph got his bones and as they were marching out of Egypt they were singing glory hallelujah but they were carrying his bones Joseph's bones walked into the promised land because of his faith that is what faith is the Bible says Abraham believed God and it was counted upon him as righteousness sometimes faith is not just about moving mountains faith is what the righteous people do when Abraham believed God it was counted upon him as righteousness Today, we choose to stand and uphold our faith. Because that is what the righteous do. And that is what I have taught my children to do. As a mother, I would be crying. I would be rolling on the ground because you don't want a child to come this far but faith believes faith believes that dry bones can exod us from Egypt and enter the promised land because of the declaration of a man of faith the Bible says in the book of Job you shall decree and declare a, a word and it shall be established because of the measure of faith today I cannot I will not be able to manipulate the words you speak some of you will speak strength some of you will speak a new beginning some of us will speak healing others will speak life but as men of faith we are going to stand like Joseph did and make a declaration and we will continue to do so. May I ask us to stand.
the Bible says we know not how to pray but the spirit of the Lord intercedes for us with groanings that cannot be uttered and there are people here right now you don't know how to pray open your mouth let the spirit of God begin to intercede for you the Bible says he will not lie but he will say what has been told of him let the spirit of the Lord direct you to make a declaration if Joseph made a declaration about his bones you can make a declaration as well if God Katonda. said Gamba. to the prophet Ezekiel Eri don't say that you do not know he said to him make a declaration say something if you cannot make a declaration at least open your mouth and declare and declare and declare 